hello again. So I forgot there was another page of subtracting integers. So we're going to keep going. This is subtracting integers part two. So chapter one, video three, part two. All right. So there are um, some number lines here. Let's see how we can work through these on a number line. If I start at four and then I want to subtract six, remember we could add the opposite, add negative six, or you already know that uh, subtracting 6 would move left on the number line. So subtracting 6, adding negative 6 means we're going to go this way. And I end up at negative 2. If I have negative 8, so starting at negative 8 and adding 2, adding 2 we're going to move to the right and I end up at negative 6. So that was a positive and a negative. I end up subtracting to get the 6, and I'm still in the, in the negatives, negative 6. Negative 1 minus 3, I can rewrite that, add the opposite, so add a negative 3. If I start at negative 1 and I add negatives, add 3 negatives, I'm going to go to the left, and I end up at negative 4. I'm going to pause it here, or you should pause it here. There are, what, 5 more to try. I want you to try them. Use the number line to set them up and then see what you get for your answer. And then we'll check them. So pause now. Okay, here's number four. I'm starting at negative three, adding five. So hopping to the right and I end up at two. If I start at negative two and I add negative three, adding negatives means you go towards the negatives. We're hopping to the left and I end up right there at negative five. 4 minus negative 2. Well, I could rewrite that as add the opposite. So 4 plus 2 is 6, or on the number line, starting at 4, adding 2, and I end up at 6. For this one, 3 plus negative 4, I'm going to start at 3. Adding negatives means you move to the left, end up at negative 1. And negative 10 minus negative 3. I can rewrite it as add the opposite, negative 10 plus 3. So starting at negative 10, adding 3, move to the right, and you end up at negative 7. These are just here for practice. They're all subtraction problems. Um, I figured it would help if you just had a little bit more chance to practice and have it sink in. So rewrite these all as add the opposite. Then if you want to use a number line, if you just want to talk yourself through the rules or look back at your notes, you can do that. But rewrite them all as add the opposite, and then we will check the answers. So pause now. Okay, I've rewritten them all as adding the opposite. Let's just talk them through and get the answers. Or if you already have the answers, check them with me now. So negative 5 plus 4. I'm at negative 5, add 4, but I'm still ending up at negative 1. Negative 3 plus negative 6 combined to make negative 9. Negative 4 plus negative 4 combined to make negative 8. Negative 6, but then add 8. I'm going to, on a number line, go all the way into positive 2. Negative 7 plus 2 would leave me at negative 5. Negative 4 plus 9. I'm adding one of each. The uh, positive 9 is bigger, bigger by 5. 1 plus 9 would make 10. Negative 2 plus 6. So a positive and a negative, I'm going to subtract to get 4. And the positive is bigger. 
1 plus negative 1, cancel out to make 0. 6 plus 9, combine to make 15. 4 plus 2, combine to make 6. Um, 5 plus 6, combine to make 11. Negative 1 plus 2, I have 1 positive, 1 negative, so subtract them, keep the sign of the bigger number. Negative 8 plus 7, I have 1 positive, 1 negative, subtract them, but keep the sign of the bigger. The negative 8 is bigger, so I have a negative answer. And 8 plus negative 7, I have 1 of each again, subtract them, keep the sign of the bigger number, so positive 1. So I know it seems like a lot of different strategies, number line, chipboards, um, adding the opposite. We'll get the hang of it. We'll do more practice. So if you're still a little confused, don't freak out yet. We will spend some time in class going over all of these. It might be helpful if you pick kind of a strategy that you stick to. If you like the number lines, stick with the number lines. If you like the chipboards, stick with the chipboards. Um, and let me know what questions you have and what I can help you with.